We recently had a comment asking to do a video about my clutch and brake setup, so today I'm going to do just that. Starting with the components, I actually leave them completely stock on the factory Sherco. The clutch provides great control for finding traction and plenty of pop for big splatters. I use 700 cc's of Maxima MTL 75 weight oil. The stock brakes work well enough for me and last quite a while, but if I do go through a set of pads or bend a rotor, I replace them with Galfer components. Since I have pretty big hands, I run the clutch lever pretty far out, almost as far out as it goes, and I also run the engagement pretty far out there, right around here, just so I don't have to move it very far to get all the clutch action I need. If I need it real quick, it's right there. I run the front brake pretty far from the grip also, but I allow it to come far enough in to where I can get a finger all the way around the lever for maximum power. I run my rear brake lever slightly lower than it usually comes stock, just so it's a bit easier to reach. If you look at the threads, that's where I have it adjusted right now. I have about 35 millimeters between my grip and master cylinder clamp, but these are the asymmetrical S3 grips, so they're a bit wider than some of the others. And on the throttle side, it's about 25 millimeters. My clutch is at a 24 degree angle, and my front brake is about at a 27, so it's actually slightly lower. I didn't actually even realize that, and that's not something to do on purpose, but it's just close enough to not make a difference, I guess. I've never actually measured any of this stuff, so it's pretty interesting to find out. Maybe you guys want to compare it to your setup. All of these measurements are taking place right after a practice session, so things could have moved here and there. I'm not super picky on placement, so these aren't spot on measurements for all my bikes, but they should be pretty close to what I always run. That's all there is to it. The clutch and brake are extremely important in trials, and I'm really happy to be able to run the stock components. It just saves me the headache of trying to find aftermarket parts to make them better. It is a bit of personal preference to the lever angles and setup and stuff like that, so my setup may not work for you, but it might be worth a try.